So this is what's going on with the hydroponic Brazilian beauties. As soon as they start to ripen, uh, they'll, they'll start cracking. Let me find an example here. All right, so this one's pretty green, but they start getting these cracks around the top and down the sides and everywhere. And uh, here's another one. And that just leads to this. They just split open. Of course, the birds are getting them. I didn't even bother covering them up because they're all cracking so badly that they're not even worth trying to preserve. So all of these Brazilian beauties are gonna get pulled out and this entire aquaponics, or excuse me, this entire hydroponics setup will be dedicated to um, the purple Cherokees. So I'll put six more purple Cherokees in here. That's these uh, plants that don't quite have fruit yet over here on the right side and we'll get rid of these other um, Brazilian bees. I just won't grow them anymore. They don't seem conducive to, I don't know, it's the weather. I don't know if it's the hydroponics. I'm not sure. What we'll do is see if the aquaponic ones split as well. And that'll be a good indication if it was something I was doing wrong with the hydroponic or if they're just, they don't dig it or whatever. Even the brandy wines in this particular system aren't <laughs> <laughs> the world's largest pink brandy one. They're not doing very well, but I think I just got a couple of bad plants. Um, no big deal, we'll swap them out. Folks, just gonna do a quick aquaponics update. I changed quite a few things around today. Uh, these are the peppers that I put in, I guess it was last week or so. They're doing pretty well, and tomatoes are doing awesome. Not too shabby. These are pink brandy ones, and uh, they're doing great really well all right so today I changed my inlet to my grow bed so a half inch and instead of doing a gravity fed feed to the grow beds I'm now doing a pressure feed so I'll try to walk you how I did all this I'm still confused on what I did myself so I don't know if you'll grasp it but basically I've got two pumps running now so I'm less economical in that sense but this is my inlet to the fish tank. The fish tank is draining into this new filter. We'll call it a filter because it's not really a swirl and it's not really a radial flow. I'll talk more about that in a minute. So running an inlet here, the fish tank goes directly into the filter and the filter drains directly into the sump. I've got another pump that is feeding the grow beds. And so I put it, knocked it all down to half inch. Guys, I've used, I started with one inch pipe, gravity fed. I wasn't getting a good flow. I graduated to, to a two inch pipe, gravity fed. And that was working pretty well, but there's about a half of the tube is not filled with any water. So I had a lot of air pockets in there and I had mosquitoes breeding in there. When I took it apart today, I couldn't believe how disgusting it was inside that tube. So I'm going to try running a pressurized smaller tube. I can blow it out one by one and the whole line is being occupied. There's nothing, there's no room for anything to breed in there and there's, of course you're going to get your biofilm but hopefully we won't see a blockage build up. If we do, we're going to notice it pretty quick. Um, so yeah, the fish tank was just accumulating too much waste. Um, it wasn't looking very good so I needed to do something. I've never had it to do it before, but a lot of the fish that I had uh, started with are now growing up and the weather's getting warmer, so they're hitting the food pretty hard and the waste is really starting to accumulate in the tank. And it's not settling on the bottom, it's just sort of floating around. So I'll take you over there to the filter and kind of show you what I did with that. All right, so this is a 120 liter barrel, basically. And again, I just moved what used to be my gravity outlet to, to here. So this is now a gravity outlet that goes directly into this filter. I don't have the uniseals over here. I can't get them. I can, but I'd have to order them and wait for them in the mail and I'm not a very patient person. So I'm just using these bulkhead fittings. There's a female piece on the inside of this tank that matches this male couplet. From there, I've just got a 90 degree and it shoots down into the bottom of the tank. And then over here, I've got, I can show this to you. I've got a, just this uh, thing on top here. So this is where the water's leaving the filter and going back into the sump. It's just draining out of the side here and going right back into the sump. 
and I went out and got some of this filter pad. It's made for salt water tanks. It's really coarse. It's what I wanted. This stuff's not going to fall apart on me. I had some, some other filter pad fall apart and it just screws things up. So way overkill probably, but I needed something. I intended to do a radial flow. But once I got these things on each side, they protrude too far into the middle of the tank and I couldn't separate my piping to get a bucket in there to achieve the radial, the radial flow concept. So this will suffice for now. The water's got to go through the filter pad to get to the drain. So you can see this has only been running for two hours and you can already see the gunk that these pads are picking up. Those are just remnants I let sit around the top of the of the uh, water flowing out of there, but you can, I, you probably can't because of the light, the reflection, but there's some gunk already on the pad. Tomorrow when I pull this thing out of there, maybe I'll take a picture or something. I'm sure it'll look horrendous. So that's what I achieved today. Guys, if you're using a big tank, think about the fact that you may, if you, and you don't have a uniseal, well, just try to imagine my fat pasty ass crawling inside of this barrel, trying to silicone this thing through this little opening on the top here and breathing silicone and 100 degrees and it, it just sucked it wasn't very cool so that's why i didn't really do a video it wasn't turning out anyways so it's just sort of a mod to a mod to a mod to get something that works i, I couldn't leave it offline or anything because i had to keep water flowing for the fish so that's what we're doing and it's probably going to work out just fine for the time being i'm not too sure how i'm liking this uh, half inch inflow uh, each bed's getting plenty of water, but I know that little pump, it's a 2,600 liters an hour, and he's working hard. I mean, I've got a 90 over here, I've got another 90 here on the corner, and then it's got a pump all the way down to the end of the system. So, right now, sort of going through a transition, I've got, I basically pulled everything out of here, and then I'm going to dedicate the entire system to tomatoes, with the exception of a couple cucumbers and some peppers that I put in. I want to tax this system as hard as I can and see if my tomatoes suffer because of it. I want to see if I can grow these heavy feeding crops and lots of them and see how well they'll perform. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. That's what I want to test out. All right, guys, that's about it for today. Uh, I've got all my seeds started up here. So as soon as these guys are ready to go, We'll get them tossed into the system and I'm doing a couple of swap outs in the Dutch buckets and the hydroponic stuff too. So um, you'll be seeing me tear out all those um, Brazilian beauties are all going to come out. And there's a couple brandy wines in there that aren't doing very well. Those are going to come out. And that system will be dedicated entirely to Purple Cherokees. And the first hydroponic system which has been doing phenomenal. Uh, there's a couple of plants that I got to switch out, but some of them are still going. They're all indeterminates, but some of them I pruned improperly. And basically I told them not to grow anymore and screwed myself. So we'll have to replant, get some new plants in there. All right, so we'll probably see you sometime in the next few days or maybe next week, depending on when I can get off my ass and get some more things accomplished. Thanks for watching.